we're gonna make a crazy easy crock pot meal, okay? This is like kind of a layered lasagna made with some ravioli. Super easy to do, but so good, so delicious. All of my ingredients are set out right here, all ready to go, except for one thing, which is the ground beef back here. Now I wanna tell you, ground beef, ground sausage, ground pork, ground turkey, there's so many different ways you can do this, so don't feel like you have to go the ground beef route. The first thing that we need to do though is take a couple different cans here and we're gonna combine them and make our own sauce. If you have a marinara or a pizza sauce or a pasta sauce that you love, you can skip this, the mixing of the sauce, and just use those. We're gonna be using one can of tomato sauce here, and I'm just gonna use my measuring bowl to do this. So I'm gonna dump the whole thing in, and I don't even know if all these are gonna fit in here, but we'll try. And then I have three cans of diced tomatoes in tomato juice. We're not gonna drain these. These are just all gonna go in here. Actually, I might drain one. Okay, I should be wearing an apron. Yeah, I don't know if all three of these cans are gonna fit in here. This is like a pour in and back away at the same time. Okay, yeah, all three cans are not gonna fit in here. I do have one more can, but we'll add that in in a minute. We're gonna add about two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Feel free to add as much or as little as you want. We really like it, so I'm adding a little bit more. I've also got some balsamic vinegar here. I'm gonna add approximately a teaspoon, not really measuring. The Amazon delivery guy's here, and that is why my dog's barking. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to this, about a teaspoon, and we're also gonna add some minced garlic. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons, and this is one of those things, again, add more or less. This is actually gonna be hard to stir. I don't know how in the world I would have done all three cans in here. I needed a bigger bowl, apparently. Ooh, it smells good already. Now, one thing that I like to do that most recipes don't call for is just adding a touch of sugar and I mean when I say a touch I mean like a half teaspoon totally up to you if you want to skip that that's fine it just cuts the acidity a little bit that balsamic vinegar is also going to help do that about a half teaspoon and we're just going to combine all that together let's pull the crock pot over and we're going to start to do a layered system so I'm going to start by just putting a little bit in the same way that you would do lasagna I'm going to put a little bit of sauce at the bottom now, if you're doing this in a big bowl, you could also put your ground beef in here with your sauce too. I'm just gonna layer it uh, in the crock pot. I'm gonna add in some of the ground beef. And this was a very lean ground beef, so I didn't really need to drain anything off, but you just do whatever you need to do. Now, the recipe only calls for mozzarella. I do have a mozzarella, but then also at Sam's Club yesterday, we picked up this massive bag of the shaved blend, Asiago, Parmesan, and Romano and I feel like that's gonna be really good in here, so I'm gonna add both. Let's just add in some cheese, and it doesn't really matter what uh, method you use for lay layering or you know what how you do your layers. Sometimes I even forget what I did in the previous layer and just do it differently. I did get a family size bag of ravioli. If you wanna make your own, that's totally fine too. This was just easy and convenient. So let's add in some of these ravioli, we'll create of a layer with that but i'm not too worried about it being perfect also i am making enough that we will have leftovers for lunch tomorrow so if you cut down this recipe you can you can absolutely cut it down depending on how many people are in your family but i'm assuming for our family i'll let you know after we eat this tonight or after we serve it up i am assuming this will be six to eight servings I don't even know if i'm gonna need all this sauce i may not use this other can let's add another layer of sauce yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use that other can, guys. This is this is quite a bit of sauce. So I think we're gonna be fine with just that. So that was two cans of the diced tomatoes and one can of the tomato sauce. You can also use crushed tomatoes too. We're gonna add some more ground beef. Also, I wanted to let you know, I did season the ground beef using a Mr. Sticks blend. It's just got lots of different garlic and spices in it, so it's perfect for a recipe like this with the flavors that it has. I always have a link in my description box for both Auntie Nono's and Mr. Sticks if you do not have it and you would like some. Some more noodles, or ravioli. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump all the rest in. Yeah, perfect. And we'll just kinda spread them out a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and layer the rest of the sauce on the top just to make sure there is enough cooking liquid for everything. Also, if you wanna add that other can of diced tomatoes, please feel free to do that. 
And we're gonna top with the last layer of cheese. Now, normally my preference would be to cook this on low for six to eight hours, but it's two o'clock. I got started a little late today. We're gonna cook this on high. We're at least gonna start it on high and let everything really get going. I may end up switching to low, but we may do high for four hours. My husband seems to think we're gonna eat all of this in one sitting. I don't know, my son really does like bread sauce, so we'll see how that goes. But I did reach in and try it just a bit ago because I was curious. Um, it was very hot and it burned the end of my tongue, but the flavor was awesome. So we're gonna start serving this up. I'm gonna let it cool for just a minute before I try it for you guys. All right, for a crock pot meal, lazy lasagna. This is right up my alley. It's really good. The ravioli that we used this time were delicious. We looked for ravioli at Sam's Club and even though we had tried that ravioli before and it wasn't our favorite, I did think that it could go well in this recipe, but this ravioli is really delicious. Also, I definitely do not think that we needed the other can of tomatoes. So I think that just depends on how much your family is gonna be making, but this is going to be so good. I'm gonna come back afterward and tell you guys how many servings we think this is actually gonna be. So we'll see how we fare at the end of dinner. Just for a point of reference, I do think this is what we have left after dinner tonight. And I do think that this is probably six servings with the amount that I made. You guys already know we love chicken noodle soup. We're gonna take just plain chicken noodle soup and make a creamy version. I am so excited. This recipe looks so delicious. I've got chicken thighs here in my crock pot insert. I have made chicken noodle soup plenty of times with chicken breasts. Feel free to do this whatever way you want. I would say one large chicken breast or two small chicken breasts. This is three to four-ish thighs. And we're just gonna start adding ingredients. Open up this can here of roasted red bell peppers. These are so delicious in a soup like this. So we're gonna add approximately a half cup. Please feel free to measure this. I'm just going, like I said, I'm going approximately. But oh, as always, if there's an ingredient that you know you love, feel free to add more. If there's an ingredient you don't love, feel free to add less or none at all. Okay, we've got a lot of different little spices that are gonna go in this. I'm gonna start with parsley, and we need one teaspoon of parsley. And I actually have my teaspoon measurer over here, so we're actually gonna measure this. So, teaspoon of parsley. We're gonna add about a three-fourths or so out of a teaspoon of salt. We are adding some oregano. Technically, we only need like a fourth teaspoon of oregano, but we really like it, so I'm gonna go more toward a half. I'm also going more toward a half with the basil. We are adding lots of good flavor. All right, and then we need to add in some minced garlic, and the recipe actually calls for a teaspoon. You guys know I always add a little bit more than what a, recipe's call, a recipe calls for, though. So we're going closer to like one and a half. Now, we need four cups of chicken broth. I'm using chicken bone broth. You guys have seen me use this. And I've also got some homemade one. I'm defrosting that right now. Okay, so that was about two cups. And then I'll add the other two once that is defrosted. We're gonna cook ours on high for three hours. You can also do low for six hours, but it is one o'clock, so we're definitely gonna do high. And then we'll come back, shred the chicken, and move on. This chicken has been in the crock pot. Everything's been cooking for about three and a half hours, actually. We're gonna take the chicken out and shred it and then put it back into the crock pot. And then uh, you can actually probably shred it just directly in the crock pot. I just wanna make sure there's not any fatty pieces that I need to pull off, so that's why I'm pulling it out. If you're using chicken breasts, you probably can just shred it with two forks straight inside of the crock pot. So we can add this back in. You can use whole milk or light cream, but I'm actually gonna use half and half for this. It's it's basically milk and uh, heavy cream. So about the same effect. And we're adding about three fourths of a cup. Now I'm also gonna pull out a little bit of the liquid and we're gonna mix in some, this is tapioca flour, but you can just use cornstarch if that's what you have. About a tablespoon or so. This is just gonna help to thicken it up a little bit. So I'm gonna pull some of that liquid out and just adding some of the liquid 
here separately is gonna help kind of like blend it all together and then you don't get any chunks of that cornstarch or the tapioca flour straight into your crock pot. See how that just nicely and quickly blends it all together and now we can just pour it in. Now you can use whatever kind of pasta you want but I'm gonna be using egg noodles. We're just gonna put all of those in and I'm also going to add in some spinach. We're gonna give about one cup of fresh spinach a quick chop and then toss that in there as well. You can skip that if you don't like spinach. It's just kind of an easy add. This doesn't have to be a perfect or a pretty chop at all. It's all gonna get really wilted into this soup. Okay, put all that in there. Let's just give this a quick stir. And then the lid's gonna go back on for about 20 minutes or so. You're basically just looking for your noodles to become uh, al dente. You're looking for that perfect noodle texture. And then that's gonna be ready to go. It should thicken up a little bit as well with that cornstarch in there. All right, this thickened up just a little bit, like the exact amount that you would want for a soup like this. Now I'm gonna take this and just add a little bit of this Parmesan cheese on the top. And there you go. Look how delicious this looks. Let's give it a try. Okay, I think, I think I've let this cool for long enough to try it. It's so perfect, especially since today it's actually very cold outside. It's like our first cold day of the year. That cornstarch added just the right amount of thickness to it, so it's still soupy, absolutely, but it just added a little bit. All those Italian flavors are delicious. I really like this one. Let's make this slow cooker honey, garlic, chicken, and veggies. So good. It's fairly healthy, to be honest, Pete. You're gonna put everything in the crock pot and come back later and dinner's ready to go. We're gonna be using boneless chicken thighs, but feel free to use bone in. You can use skin on. Ours are skinless and boneless, but it is totally up to you how you wanna do it. We've also got some potatoes here. I'm gonna dice these up, but I want them to be fairly large pieces, so I'm not dicing them too small. And you can use red potatoes. These are a white potato. That's what we're choosing to go with for tonight. You can also use baby carrots if you would like, and you don't have to do any chopping. We always have big whole carrots in our house. This is something we eat almost every day. So we always have them available in the fridge. I buy a five pound bag almost probably twice a month. I'm just gonna peel these and chop them up and have them ready to go into, into baby carrot size. All of this can go into the crock pot and we are going to make our sauce. So we wanna have a nice sauce to pour over the top of everything that's in there. So we're gonna take one half cup of soy sauce, coconut aminos, whichever you prefer, and I'm gonna pour it into our measuring cup here. Let's add about a half cup of honey. We also need to add about one fourth cup of ketchup, roughly two cloves of minced garlic. So I'm usually, whenever I do this, adding roughly a teaspoon to two teaspoons. You guys know we really like minced garlic. About a teaspoon of dried basil, roughly a half to one teaspoon of oregano. We really love oregano, so sometimes we'll add more of that. Now, the recipe that I'm using today actually calls for a fourth teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, but whenever I use this ingredient, I usually just try to add just one small shake into whatever it is. I don't want a recipe to be too spicy for the kids, so this is probably more like one eighth of a teaspoon. So combine all of that together and then pour it all over the top of all of this stuff in the crock pot. It's gonna be so good. Put your lid onto your crock pot. You can cook this on low for seven to eight hours or you can cook it on high for three to four hours. We're gonna come back and we're gonna add in the green beans for about the last 30 or so minutes of cook time. So before, about 30 minutes before we're ready to serve, we will add those in. All right, you guys, this is definitely done cooking. We are ready to have this for dinner. You've got all the colors in here, which is perfect. You guys know we love color. You've got all these flavors, everything, 
literally the entire meal ready to go here in the crock pot. Now, if you wanna elevate this, I'm gonna give you a tip. Turn on your broiler over on your stovetop and broil all of this on a sheet pan for just a couple of minutes. It's gonna crisp up the outside of that chicken just a little bit, especially if you use a skin on thigh. You can absolutely serve it just like this, which is the way that I'm doing it. That's just kind of like an extra tip if you really wanna take it up to the next level. Look how easy this is. Everything here on a plate. The kids love this one. We love the flavors of this. All right, friends, if you want more Crock-Pot recipes, you gotta go follow these three ladies right here. We love you! But I'm assuming, oh, I lost a ravioli. So this doesn't have to be a like perfect pretty chopper. Oh, let me not get my finger. Our verse today comes from Isaiah 54, 10. For the mountains may depart and the hills may be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. And my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. If you guys want more Crock-Pot meals, more dump and go meals, check out the playlist listed above and you're gonna get so much more inspiration. Have a great week.